Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. For just a little while, I pulled the crew off of the roof and um, started a cleanup in and around this pond because we're going to be harvesting tomorrow and I just want to prepare a bit. So, wow, Tatai, that was in that was in the pond. <laughs> Nobody cut their foot, right? Okay. Wasn't sure, you know, since we can't see all the way to the bottom of the pond, wasn't sure what was in there. But knew there could quite possibly be something in there. And that piece of roofing tin right there was one of the somethings. So, uh, we're going to be harvesting tomorrow. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be the, the pain in the butt way. Uh, dragging a net around in there, trying to uh, catch the fish. But, um, it's not imperative that we catch every last one. And, and we won't. Um, So, and I'm moving out the you know, the old floating cages, just taking them out, and you know, just doing a general cleanup on the bottom and around the sides. These logs and stuff need to be uh, gone somewhere. Uh, they'll be through here well before noon. So what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to go down. We have used. Uh, the net in pieces and um, you know it's gotten snags and tears in it so I'm going to go down and buy some more net so that we can um, harvest them I, I need to measure this off I think we're about uh, 40 feet wide so that means we'll need 60 in fact I'm just going to pace it off right now So I don't know how this is going to, well, I, it's going to affect the, the live stream tomorrow somehow. I might just do a live stream on the harvest, I don't know. Good morning guys, what can you say? Are you having fun yet? Nice. Nice, Nereo? Nice. The biomass in this pond is just getting uh, too much, and where you know, we've been offered a good price, and so we're going to harvest. And at some point, when we get pond four completed, then uh, we will drain this pond. Now whether or not we're ever going to put these floating cages back in it, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm just leery of ever, ever running that high of a stocking density as we had right before the typhoon without a guaranteed uh, way to aerate and do water exchange. You know, I'm hoping for several hundred kilos in this harvest, but we lost 80% of the fish out of this pond because we didn't have aeration and no water exchange. And as thickly as we had them in here, you have to have those things. And so, uh, you know, we're going to disassemble these floating cages and I don't know if I'm ever going to put them back in again. I'm only going to feed these fish um, probably today at about two, 
and then I'm not going to feed them any more. Uh, the buyer doesn't like them if they're if they've been fed more than 24 hours or less than 24 hours before harvest. It, they because they continue to uh, crap and it just makes them uh, messy. Uh, and they don't like buying the food weight, I would imagine. And so, I'm not going to feed these 16 hours prior to harvest. Now these guys here, I'm going to go up and get the feed bucket and feed them pretty dang quick. So, Ablett? Yeah. Nereo? Yeah. Not, not immediately, but... Today, before you finish this Kang Kong, put it in this pond, okay? Mm. I, I don't want to waste it uh, or kill it. This uh, Kang Kong, this stuff here. Huh? Put all. Just put it all in that pond. This acts as a filter and as a food source to the fish, but more than anything else it acts as a filter. Uh, it helps keep the water uh, clean. Whether it's a it's a 24 hour positive on oxygen or not, I couldn't tell you. I'm fairly certain that it, it emits more oxygen than it uses during the day, but if, you know, does it consume oxygen more than it released? at night that question I can't answer but I do know that it's a decent enough food source <laughs> watch out Nereo Abbott's trying to kill you it is a good enough food source and it uh, filters the water the water is orders of magnitude cleaner if it has a high concentration of Kang Kong in it so I would imagine these guys would be finished and with this cleanup well before noon and uh, they'll get back on the on the roof. Uh, Tata was supposed to contact Gabriel this morning to see if he could come by and sew the net, the harvest net. Because <coughs> when I when it, when you buy it it's only I think three meters in width and so it has to be sewn together in order to use it in a pond this size. And I'm going to go ask Tata if he's got things figured out with Gabriel. So, harvest tomorrow. Probably, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about the live stream. Uh, I might just do a live stream harvest. Maybe, that, maybe that's the solution. I am thinking that I'll be too busy to uh, break off from the harvest. I don't think the harvest will be finished by 9 a.m. And uh, I don't want to break off from the harvest to do a live stream. So uh, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just do a, a, uh, a live stream harvest. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.